Hello, this is Ben Brownlee from Curious Turtle, and we're going to be looking at some of the new features in Imagineer Systems Mocha and Mocha Pro 4. Now, the first thing you'll see is that the interface has been updated a bit. So this is the interface from Mocha version 3. And then version 4. What you'll notice is that there's a lot of consolidation up on the toolbar here uh, and also on the top of the viewer here to try and sort of save a bit of space and to take away buttons and unify the interface a little bit better. If you're working on a Mac system, there's full retina support so the icon's going to be nice and crisp. Well, let's take a look at the buttons first. Where there used to be drop down menus, we now have a small little uh, white triangle in the bottom right hand corner. Now this tells us that we can click and hold on a button and we can see the different options that we have available to us now. And on this particular tool, where there were four buttons that were showing us which point we could pick, we can now use the drop down menu to pick whichever one is needed at a time. And the same going down on the viewer menu down here, where we used to have words, we now have icons. So if we look at our mats down here, I can see we can now select the same options we had before, the all mats, the selected mats, and the selected track mats, but that's all hidden away within this button, which I can now turn on. Have this uh, turned on there. But yeah, which I can turn on and off. Boom, boom. And the same with our overlays button here. And again, the white arrows in the bottom right-hand corner show that we have drop-down options here. So we click and hold, we can now see whatever options we have. And options like our quick stabilize and our surface trace now have buttons rather than text. So it still does the same job. It's just got a more unified look to it. And the same goes for the parameters down here. These have just been smartened up a little bit so things are a little bit better laid out. So if we compare version four and version three, we've got exactly the same information going on, but in version four, things are just a little bit neater. So the user interface changes are one of the things that's updated in version four, but more importantly is the updated project handling that we've got. And we're gonna look at that in the next tutorial.